From this to this, London's constantly changing building landscape. This video is about Millbank Pier and the area around. The pier is in front of Tate Britain and the Millbank Tower and just down the road from Thames House, the MI5 building. This is on one side. On the other is Chelsea College of Art and just a little way up, the Morpeth Arms. All officially listed buildings. This area is steeped in history. This video highlights the changes from before the pier, some information on its design, and provides some history of its unique structure, the area and the buildings nearby. It's fascinating, including spies, revolutionary prison design, ghosts and tunnels. Please stay until the end to see all the detail. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Brought to you by Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images. Millbank Pier can be seen here on this map and here again on a more detailed one. The other places we will cover are Tate Britain, Millbank Tower, Thames House, which is MI5 headquarters, Chelsea College of Art, Warpath Arms and the Riverwalk Building. As well as these, there are two old tying up points for boats used for transportation of prisoners to Australia and a couple of listed red phone boxes. To give some context, this is the view from the 1876 Ordnance Survey map from the Library of Scotland archive, link in the description below. The dominant area of the map is the big empty hexagonal space. That was Millbank Penitentiary. It had been the biggest ever purpose-built prison and its site provided the land for later Tate Britain and what is now the Chelsea College of Art. The penitentiary opened in 1816 and closed finally in 1890 after having gone through various changes during that time. But it did help to shape prison design for the future. It is still possible to see the prison outline on the streets today and some of the old boundary wall between Tate and Millbank Tower. We can also see here the PH sign for Public House, which is the Morpeth Arms pub. None of the other buildings we are covering existed then. We can see here there was also a pier, but again it is not the one that we see now and was further down the river. There is however a tying up point still in place and we will cover that later. Moving back to 2023, to the current Transport for London map, we can see Millbank Pier is here. It is now part of a comprehensive pier network along the River Thames. This network was only in the process of being constructed 20 years ago. This is the picture taken in 2003. It was taken from the south bank of the Thames showing some of the piles in the river during the construction. Millbank Pier was the last of five piers to be opened that were actually part funded by the Millennium Commission. That was in turn funded by the National Lottery. It was part of the Thames 2000 project to regenerate and integrate river transport. Looking at the TfL map again, the Millennium Piers funded were Blackfriars, Waterloo, Westminster and Tower. The pier itself has a distinctive, angular, constructivist steel structure and actually won several awards, including one from Reba, the Royal Institute of British Architects. When the pier opened, it was known for its Tate to Tate boat, which ferried visitors between Tate Britain and Tate Modern in a boat decorated in spots. That service has now been absorbed into the main timetable, as seen here on its way to Tate Modern. Tate Britain is dominant in the skyline here and was one of the main drivers for the pier to be built. As mentioned before, Tate Britain was built on the site of Millbank Penitentiary it is a grade two star listed building and as such is unlikely to see any recent external change. The front part of the building was built in 1897 by Sir Henry Tate, the sugar magnet, and it has been greatly extended ever since. From the riverside, the most obvious extension is the claw building on the side, built in the 1980s with its distinctive yellow and red color brick and green window trim. The architect for this part of the building was James Stirling. Next door, and by far the tallest building in the area, is Millbank Tower. 
It opened in 1963 and is a Grade 2 listed building, as it was one of the first very tall buildings in London. It is actually 119 metres or 390 foot tall. There have been proposals to redevelop the building, but as of 2023, nothing has yet happened. And it is pretty much as it was when it opened 60 years ago. Actually, here is a picture of it under construction in the early 1960s. Next door again is Thames House, home of MI5, the domestic spies. The building is Grade 2 listed and according to its official listing, was constructed in 1928 for ICI, the old chemical company. It had several different tenants until purchased by the government, refitted and opened in 1994 primarily as a home for MI5. Going back past Tate Britain, we come to Chelsea College of Art, which used to be an army medical college. These buildings are also listed at Grade 2 and were actually the officer's mess and commandant's house, according to the official listing, built 1904-7. This was also built on the site of the old Millbank Penitentiary. A big link to the pier is this. It is sitting outside the building on Atterbury Street. It is actually a tying up point for the ships used to transport prisoners to Australia. It was moved here from the side of the Thames. And here is another one, actually still in situ by the Thames with the new Riverwalk building in the background. Now, if we move round, we come to a very interesting pub, the Morpeth Arms. Grade two listed and built in 1845 to serve the prison warders of the Millbank Penitentiary next door. According to the Atlas Obscura website, link below, the Morpeth Arms is amongst the creepiest of old pubs in London. In addition to originally being used as a prison and transfer facility for the old Millbank Penitentiary, the building was also a deportation holding centre for convicts being shipped off to Australia. There were underground tunnels that connected to their cells at Millbank and they were temporarily locked up here before being taken aboard ship. There is actually a CCTV camera set up in the pub so that customers can view the cellar where the cells were to look for ghostly activity. Saying that, when I went to take a picture of it, the camera was turned off at the time. However, the pub is well situated with really good views of the Thames and you can also spy on another building across the river, the MI6 building. As an aside, there are also two listed phone boxes along here. A K2, which is circa 1927, outside Chelsea College, and a K6, circa 1935, outside Tate Britain. Looking back at the 2003 photo, in the background, there is some change happening, as we can see the top of a building under construction. This is a hotel now branded as the Westminster London Curio by Hilton. Looking in 2023, we can see the finished building. Apart from that, if we merge the 2003 picture with the one from 2023, apart from the pier, there is actually very little change, which is not surprising as the river is fronted with multiple listed buildings of historic and current use. Noticeably, one change that could not be seen in the photo is on the extreme left. Seen here as a building site in 2013. It is the Riverwalk building. I've done another short video on its construction, if you can see the link here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be aiming to make more similar videos, so please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience, change seen through images.